Hi, my name is Amos. In this video, we learn to build this 3D rotation animation using the new model 3D view in iOS 17. So let's begin. You can find this animation on X. Also, from my LinkedIn profile, you can find the source code on GitHub, gist.github.com slash Amos Genvi. At the moment, it is the one on top of the page, Vision OS Airports Max animation. So you can grab the gist from here and test it on your device. To create the animation, we need a 3D model. Apple recommends using Reality Composer Pro. Using Reality Composer Pro, you need to compose the 3D model yourself. So the easiest way to bring the 3D model into Xcode for the animation is to use a site like Sketchfab. So here we have the Sketchfab homepage. Let's go and search for Airports Max. If I hover the mouse cursor, you can see we rotate it on the Y axis. So this is the same animation we are going to build. Most of these 3D models are free. So if you see those with the download icon, you can just get them for free. Those with the dollar amount are paid. I have already downloaded one of these. Let's click this one for example. From the bottom left, you can click this button to download the 3D model. You can see here they have different formats, but the one you are looking for is USDZ. I have already downloaded the model, so I will cancel and go back to the Apple documentation. You can see over here, the 3D model view is in beta. We can use the 3D model view to asynchronously load and display a 3D model. So all we need to do here is to copy this code to display the view in Xcode and click the three dots to expand the VStack. In the VStack, we will paste the 3D model. Our next step is to bring the 3D model we downloaded from Sketchfab. So what we will do here is to show the Xcode project navigator. Then we can go to the location we saved the model. So I downloaded these two models from the Sketchfab website. By dragging any one of them to the project navigator, we can add it to the Xcode project. From this dialog window, you make sure destination is checked. You select create folder references and also add the model to your target. Then you will click finish. From the project navigator, you can see I already have these models. So by clicking that, it opens in Reality Composer Pro. So we can perform the same rotation operation as we saw on the Sketchfab website. We will be working with this Airports Max Pink. So let's click on that and copy the name. From the 3D model code we copied from the Apple documentation, let's replace the name here with the one we just copied. The size of the original one I uploaded to Xcode was too big, so I scaled that one down. We can do this using scale effect. So let's scale it to 0 0.5. So we now have it appearing on the screen. Let's look at how the 3D model works. So when it finds this name, then it will just present it on the screen. Otherwise, we show a progress view. That is the function of the placeholder. To create the animation, we are going to use the new face animator available in iOS 17. Using face animator, we can define some steps for the animation to go through from beginning to the end. In this animation, we are going to use only two states, that is true and false. We can create animation using face animator view or use the face animator modifier. We are going to use the face animator modifier. So let's attach it to the 3D model. Below the scale effect modifier, let's add the face animator modifier. In the parentheses, we need to define some steps. We have only two steps, that will be true and false. So we are going to use an array for this. If you have more than two steps, you can use an enum for the steps. So here we will have false and true. In the closure, we have to specify what we want to animate and how we want to animate it. So for what we want to animate, we can say airports max. And for how we want to create the animation, we can say we want 3D Y rotation. So for the content we want to animate, I will say airports max. The animation variable will be 3D Y rotate. Next, we should bring the content we want to animate. We want to create 3D Y rotation. So let's use 3D rotation effect. The next parameter is the axis. So here, for the axis we want to animate, it will be the Y axis. So what we will do here is to set the X axis to zero. 
and the Z axis to zero as well. Since we want the animation to affect only the Y axis, we can set it to one or a value greater than one. Next, we can use the animation variable we defined here to animate the rotation angle here. So let's paste it. We will do this using ternary conditional operation. So we bring a question mark. We have true and false value. So when the condition is true, we set the angle of rotation to zero. And when it is false, we set it to one complete revolution, which is 360. So this is the kind of animation we get. It rotates in one direction and back again, repeatedly. So let's change the animation again. We will just put a negative sign here to rotate it in anti-clockwise direction first and multiply the rotation value by five. That creates a very fast animation. When you use face animator to animate a view, by default you get a repeating animation. That is why our rotation is repeating forever. But luckily, we can use the animation closure to customize the animation in any way we want. At the end of the face animator closure, we can add the animation closure. To customize the animation, we need to use the same animation variable we defined here inside the closure. Next, we have to define the easing equation. So we can say we want dot bouncy, for example, or we can use ease in out. But this is not what we want. If we go to the main animation, you can see in this animation, we have a constant speed. So to be able to achieve the constant speed, we need to use the easing equation that supports that. We can use the linear timing curve to achieve this effect because it has no increase in speed or decrease in speed using other timing equations like easing out we used earlier there is acceleration and deceleration so let's modify the animation to use the linear timing curve i will remove the easing out and put linear and select the one that has duration as a parameter let's set the duration to five seconds you can see it moves in one direction and also back again in the other direction. We can still customize the animation using the speed modifier. Let's set the animation speed to 0 0.3. If you look at this animation closely, you can see it rotates in one direction and back in the opposite direction. So what we want to do is to make it rotate in only one direction. To do this, we can add the repeat forever modifier and set auto reverses to false. So this is how to create this 3D rotation animation in Vision OS using the 3D model view in SwiftUI and iOS 17. If you want to see more animations like this in the future, I encourage you to subscribe to the SwiftUI animations. My name is Amos. Thanks for watching this video.